Our honor beads pay tribute to loved ones lost, a personal struggle or a victory. They come in many colors representing the diversity of our community and our, and our connections to this cause. 10 years ago this month, Thomas's 18-year-old niece, Alexis, took her life. She was an honor roll student. She had perfect attendance at school. And just two days after her high school graduation, she was gone. 11 years ago, Sherry lost her brother, Denny, to suicide. This is Sherry's 12th overnight. And Matt is a retired Army Ranger with 21 years of service. He heard about last year's Seattle Overnight. Matt heard about last year's Seattle Overnight shortly after a young soldier who he had supervised in Afghanistan died by suicide. Her father, Dr. Chung Kim, died by suicide in February of 2012 at the age of 72. Emmeline's brother, Chris, also died by suicide six years ago at the age of 32. Father and son died on the same day, three years apart. On December 24th, Christmas Eve, 2006, their 19-year-old son, Chris, died by suicide. It is especially difficult for the Grainers to know that Chris's only son, uh, Mason, who was an infant when his father died, will only know his daddy through stories and pictures. Eight years ago, Libby lost her husband, Dick, to suicide. Dick, Dick was fascinated by solar eclipses. Tonight, on what would have been Dick's 65th birthday, the King family's overnight walk will remind them of the incredible darkness created by a solar eclipse and the incredible joy when the sun returns. In 2013, after years of struggling with severe depression, anxiety, and eating disorder, and self-harm, Bree was hospitalized for severe suicidal ideation. Bree is proud to say that her depression and anxiety are now under control, and she has not self-harmed since being hospitalized, and we couldn't be happy to share that with you. Megan is the captain of the Greater Boston Chapter team, and this is her fifth overnight and her eighth out of the darkness walk. Jamie is the founder of To Write Love on Her Arms, To Write Love on Her Arms, which is a nonprofit. Jamie is proud to represent his organization and all those who have ever cared for someone with mental illness. Thank you for being here. These beads these luminaria, these courageous people before you, they represent our dedication, our commitment, and our strength as a community. We are united in our goal and determined to bring suicide prevention out of the darkness and to save lives.